I don't know why, but for some reason, statisticians love taking empty jars and filling them up with marbles. It's just a thing that they do. And why do they do that? Well, they do that to help explain the concept of probability. So here goes, let's see how this works. So imagine an empty jar and you fill it up with marbles. There's gonna be 40 blue marbles, 30 yellow marbles, and 20 orange marbles. And then you mix all the marbles up, shake them up real good, and then you stick your hand in the jar, look away so you're not looking, and then pick a marble totally at random and pull it out. And then you see what the color is. And now we are going to ask the question, what is the probability of picking a marble with each one of these colors purely at random? Now, before even thinking about computing this, let's just think about what we expect to happen. Let's just try to build an intuition. If you pick your hand in there or stick your hand in the jar, pull out a marble and look at the color, what color could it be? Well, it could be any one of these colors, but what color would you expect it to be? Well, it seems reasonable to expect that it's you're more likely to pull out a blue marble than a yellow marble or an orange marble just because there's more blue marbles in there. So that's pretty intuitive. And you are least likely to, to purely by chance just to pull out a marble and it happens to be orange. That's a relatively unlikely event. It's still going to happen, of course, but it's less probable. And that's because there's just fewer of them. And that's really what probability is all about. It's all about picking things at random, and what are the chances that the thing you picked at random is going to be any one of several events? Okay, so what actually are the, the, the real probabilities of picking a blue marble, a yellow marble, and an orange marble? So to compute the probability exactly using numbers, we can apply a really simple formula. All we have to do is count the total number of events, which are the total number of possible, possible events here, which is going to be 40 for the blue marbles, and divide by the total number of events that we have of any kind, which is going to be 40 plus 30, which is 70, plus 20 is 90. So the probability of, of picking a blue marble here is 40 divided by 90. Again, it's 40 because th this is the number of things that we are interested in, and 90 is the total number of things altogether. And now people often multiply by 100 here. That's not strictly necessary, but it does bring everything up into percentages. So the probability of reaching your hand in and picking out a blue marble is 44%. And the probability of picking a yellow marble, 33%, and for orange, it's 22%. Now it makes sense that the probability of any one of these things is one. So all of the probabilities have to sum to 100%. And that's another feature of probability that the sum total of all the probabilities, all the possible things that can happen has to be equal to 100%. Now, if we actually add up all these numbers, turns out we get 99.9%. Uh, .9%. Now, that's not because statistics is wrong, uh, but it's actually because this is not really 44.4%, it's really 44.4444444, and there's an infinite number of fours. Here there's an infinite number of threes and an infinite number of twos. So in fact, this does get all the way up to 100 eventually. Now I'd like to give another example and also use this opportunity to distinguish between two terms that are kind of similar to each other, although they are actually different, but they're easily confused, and that is probability versus proportion. So let's say we do an experiment, we take a coin, a penny, and we flip it 10 times, and we see how many times does it land on heads, and how many times does it land on tails, which I think should be called buildings, but anyway, they call it tails. Now you know that the probability of flipping a heads with a coin is 0.5. You have a 50% chance of a heads, 50% chance of tails. However, in this particular data set, the proportion of heads is 60% because we have one, two, three, four, five, six heads out of a total data set of 10. So this is the difference between proportion and probability. Proportion is just the total fraction of events that happened in a specific data set with a limited number of things. And a probability is a little bit more of a theoretical issue. Probability is, you know, we f keep flipping a coin over and over and over again. And what's the probability of getting a heads? 
Likewise, in this example, if we keep grabbing a marble over and over and over and over and over again many, many times, eventually we are going to get 44% of them to be blue. Of course, if you just pick up two marbles at random, the first two marbles that you might pick up could be both yellow. So that would be the difference between proportion, which is the fraction of times that something happened in a little experiment that you ran, versus a probability, which is a more theoretical concept about the long-term behavior after many, many, many repetitions. I'd like to end here with a definition of probability. This is text I copied verbatim from Wikipedia. I don't typically do this sort of thing, but this definition happened to be, I think, particularly good. So probability is a numerical description of how likely an event is to occur or how likely it is that a proposition is true. So the two examples I showed you so far were how likely an event is to occur. When we start talking about statistics, there we need to use probabilities, and there we're going to be discussing the probability that a proposition is true. For example, the probability that a certain hypothesis is true. Okay, and so probability varies between zero and one. People often convert this by multiplying it by 100 to zero to 100%, where zero indicates impossibility and one or 100% indicates certainty. And finally, the sum of all probabilities in a set must sum to 100 or one. And that should make sense as well. The probability of anything happening, of something happening is 100%.